as we're heading out of 2020 and moving into 2020, 2020. Why did I think it was 2020? That year seemed like it was two years long. But as we leave 2021 and move into 2022, if you're wanting to start on Amazon or just make sure that your business is running as efficiently as possible, the best way that you can do that is by outsourcing some of the work that you have to do. And the cheapest way to do that for the most part is through having the right softwares that'll do a lot of that work for you. Currently on Amazon, I only do retail arbitrage. And so those are the softwares that we're gonna be focusing on in this video. I am coming out with a goals video in the next couple of days with some updated plans. I'll need to get some new softwares for those, but I don't know what the best softwares are for the new stuff that I'm going to start in the new year. And so for retail arbitrage, the steps that you have to go through to make money on Amazon are first buying the inventory, but not just buying any inventory, buying profitable inventory, shipping that inventory into Amazon because I do everything Amazon FBA and they fulfill it all. I don't worry about the inventory after I've shipped it in, except for the third part, which is managing the inventory, which would include pricing to make sure that we stay competitive and potentially having to recall some inventory back to ourselves if it doesn't sell. And then finally, we also have to worry about accounting because we want to make sure come tax time, especially since that's coming up in the next couple of months, that we have everything accounted for to make our lives a little bit easier. Each of these steps get a little bit easier if you add a couple softwares to them. So I'll show you from the cheapest to a little bit more expensive of a setup, what softwares you might need to get started doing retail arbitrage or to go to the next level in your business. Getting started, there's only one app that you need, especially as a beginner, beginner. And I'll just touch on this for a second so we can get into the more advanced stuff. But if you just get the Amazon seller app right here, it comes with being a seller on Amazon FBA. All you have to do is sign into your account. You'll be able to add new products products and look up products in the stores by searching for them with this scanner. You can manage your inventory, manage your payments, and look at all of your orders all from one app. And this isn't built to be the most intuitive tool, which is why there are these other softwares that we can get and pay money for, which will help us to grow even faster. So let's first think about buying profitable inventory. And there are three pieces of software that I have for that, one of which I use for almost all of these. And so let's start by talking about that one. It's actually a software called Inventory Lab. This is what the homepage looks like, and I will have links for all these down in the description if you do choose to get a subscription. There are free trials for all of them and I will get an affiliate commission so you'd be supporting the channel at no additional cost to yourself. But Inventory Lab is probably the most robust thing and this is the only one that I would have if I only needed one of these. We'll talk about it a little bit more when we talk about shipping and inventory and managing it. But for buying inventory, it actually comes with an app called Scoutify 2, which is for me right now the best sourcing app that I have found. If you pull it up, you just have to log in with your Inventory Lab login. You can search a product by taking the camera out or you can actually just click in here and look something up. And I'm going to pull up a product that way because when when you're looking up a product, there are essentially six different things that I want to look at every single time before I buy something to make sure I'm doing the correct amount of research to find a product that will sell quickly and be profitable and won't give me any problems. So let's explain what these are real quick and how these different softwares are going to fulfill them. And we'll obviously use an example, kind of what we talked about in my replenishable video, something that I'm not selling anymore, and we'll probably be able to see the reasons why. The first thing we need to worry about is the sales rank. This is how often something is going to sell on Amazon. The lower, the better for this. So on Scottify 2, the sales rank is all the way up here. It says 440,000 out of 27 million, and that's pretty high. It's the top 2% in this category. I just put out a video on what sales ranks will be best when you're buying products, and the rules for that, if you wanna check it out, it's yesterday's video. But it shows you the sales rank right there, and I wanna see all of these things at a glance. I wanna see the profitability or target cost, and we can see that down here in this middle section. We see that the list price right now is 1725. That's how much the buy box is selling it for, and that gets back $10.46 after Amazon takes their cut. I can actually set in my targets over here a desired return on investment and I have mine at 100% ROI because of the rules that we talked about. And so I know that if it's getting back 1046 after fees, I need to buy it for $4.89 before taxes. So that's really nice to have on one screen. And then the sales chart is the one thing that isn't on this app yet. And I'll talk about how we can actually get on this app when we talk about the second and third softwares. But the restrictions are also very important because you need to make sure that you're able to sell it on Amazon. I can sell this in new, use like new, everything except for refurbished condition. But when you're starting out on Amazon, you're not going to be able to sell a lot of stuff. And so having that button just at a glance is really nice. And if you're not able to sell something, you can just go back into the seller app, which you would already have. You can search something up and then you'll be able to apply to get ungated in it just from that app. I also wanna see what other offers are on the listing. That's a great arrow, Anthony. Drawing arrows through a camera monitor is not good. And I can see that right now there's only one FBA offer. There's a bunch of other offers that are filled by merchant and I can see the FBA is the lowest. So if I really wanted to get one of these higher prices, I could see how many they had go into research, Amazon listing, and you can pull up a lot of things through this middle research tab. And we'll talk about this one in a second, Camel, Camel, Camel. That's another software that's just built into this where it shows you what the average selling price is or the third party price over a set period of time. 19 
1732, which means that this person for 1725 is probably on it for lower than what you could expect to get back from it. But since they are an FBA offer, you will be competing with them. And the last thing, which I actually don't have any solutions for myself right now, is the potential for IP claims. IP claims are essentially when a brand says you can't sell on their listing and you're infringing on their intellectual property as a seller on that listing. And so they'll hit your account, which is really bad on Amazon. There are some things like IP alert that I think you can get. I can check that for you. Personally, I don't have any and I haven't felt an immense need to have one, even though I have gotten some IP claims. I just use some other things that we've talked about in other videos to make sure that I'm not buying inventory that has the potential to give me an IP claim or just staying away from brands that other people have told me are bad. I don't think Scoutify 2, which is part of Inventory Lab, is the only thing that has all of these options, but it has them all kind of on one page, really easy to see. But that brings me to the second piece of software that I have, which is Scout IQ. And we'll get to the price of Scoutify 2 and Inventory Lab when we talk about Inventory Lab overall. This other app is this orange one, and I currently only have it for one reason. You remember this sales chart thing over over here that's essentially showing you how often something sells and I don't have a way to view that through Scoutify 2 right now I'm just gonna long press this ASIN copy it and paste it over here and the thing that Scout IQ does have is this sales chart if you click down here it gives you access to a keep a chart and you can see how often something sells and every time this green line dips down that's when a sale has been made so we could see each of these little peaks at the bottom here are sales and that's really nice when you're trying to determine how many of an item to buy especially when the rank is a little bit higher like 440,000. One question that I get all the time is about why I actually have Scout IQ. It's made for booksellers and that's mostly the people who use it but the reason that I keep Scout IQ is because of the pricing compared to Keepa which is the website that has this chart overall because this isn't actually a very in-depth Keepa chart. It's very bare bones. It shows you the price kind of at the top but doesn't give you a lot of price data but it does just give you the sales data which is the only thing that I really need right now when I'm doing retail arbitrage because I can look at everything else through Scoutify 2. And so when we take a quick look at pricing for Scoutify 2 we can see that it has a couple different options. I do the live only because I don't need anything to be saved on my phone. I'm going to have internet service whenever I'm looking stuff up and so I pay $14 per month for my subscription. You could pay $120 annually to get it but I don't think I'm actually going to stay with Scout IQ for a while because of some stuff that we're going to talk about in my goals video. And so I'm fine paying this $14 per month because the Keepa chart is a part of this overall Keepa. And the subscription for Keepa, if we look all the way down here, is 19 euros per month. 19 euros is equal to $22 right now. And that has fluctuated, been up as high as like $25. But I don't want to be paying $8 more than what I need to pay. But if you do want to get Keepa by itself, you can actually integrate it into Scoutify 2. And when I do do that, I'll show you guys how to do that. But let's stick on Keepa real quick because it actually also has a Chrome extension that is free. You just need to sign into a Keepa account, which you can get for free. You just don't get all the premium data unless you pay the 19 euros a month but once you download the chrome extension you'll actually be able to see some information on amazon listings when you go online i'm signed in right now and if i scroll under here that's the keep a logo so right under the listing we're going to be able to see the price history you won't be able to see the sales history but if you scroll over here you can see where the new price has been 1664 1552 all the way up here 1665 and so that's why when we were looking at it in the app this wasn't as accurate as it is on the computer but on scout iq it has the api for the sales data so i kind of use those interchangeably currently i don't do a lot of online arbitrage when I do start to do that I'm gonna get rid of Scout IQ and start paying the seven extra dollars for Keepa overall because when you pay for the full version it'll show you what Amazon's price is on the listing what the new price is what the sales rank has been which is the sales charts what the list price is, a bunch of other information, where the buy box is, and so even if the new price fluctuates and the buy box doesn't, then you'll know that you can get the buy box price, the offer counts from different people, the ratings, review counts. So much more information is available, but currently I don't need it because I don't do online arbitrage. I don't want to be whipping out my computer when I'm in the stores. Okay, so now we bought the products using Scoutify 2 and Scout IQ, and then we have to ship them into Amazon FBA and manage the inventory. And most of all of this is done for me with Inventory Lab. I do have a much more in-depth breakdown of everything you can do an inventory lab and scoutify 2 actually it's a 30 minute deep dive video that you can check out if you want to but real basically let's look at the pricing of inventory lab and the basics of what it does so inventory lab is 49 dollars per month and with this software you also get included scoutify 2 which we already took a look at on the phone you don't have to pay anything additional currently since i know that i'm going to be using this for a long time it's how i do all of my inventory shipments as well as managing of it i just pay the annual subscription so i pay 480 dollars per year which saves me about 108 dollars every single year but there is a 30 30-day free trial if you're interested link down in the description and you will support the channel for the first three months that you pay for the subscription if you continue on with it please don't feel the pressure to continue on with anything unless you actually like it on inventory lab over here we have the dashboard all the way up here it'll give you a 
breakdown of your sales on a weekly basis or a monthly basis or a yearly basis over here. You can research inventory on Inventory Lab. And so this is kind of what I've done when I've dabbled around with a tiny, tiny bit of online arbitrage. You can actually just look up stuff. So if we just look up that Eagle Claw crappie, that'll pull up on here and it'll give us a lot of the same information on Scottify too. We can see what the expenses are, our history with it, the storage, what the target cost is, what all the offers are, and then a profit calculator over on the side down here. Like if we bought it for $10, we would see that we would make negative 24 cents. So that's not very good. And then this is the main section that I use, which is the listing section, list and prep. You can create in Scoutify to buy list. So I can add this right now. We'll just create a random buy list. Say I bought it for $0 and add it. And since I've created that, I can just come into inventory lab, select that buy list here. I'll be able to create my shipments in inventory lab, box everything up and do everything here. And I've shown that in many, many shipment videos before. I do have a playlist of those if you want to check them out. Next, you can actually manage your inventory. It shows me how much inventory I have on hand, the highest amounts of units that I have for everything and then any unlisted inventory that I haven't sent into Amazon. And then you could search different items as well here. You could do some accounting, some reporting to see how profitable different categories are for you, different suppliers, different ASINs. And so I do all of my shipping into FBA with Inventory Lab, as well as most of my managing of my inventory. But the one thing that that doesn't do for me is repricing, because when you're on Amazon, if you want to win the buy box, which is how most people buy stuff on Amazon, you're gonna to need to make sure that your price stays competitive. And because everybody else on Amazon is repricing their inventory, you're probably gonna need a repricer too. You can just do it manually and go in and change your prices all the time but probably when you get to 20 or 30 listings you're not going to want to do that anymore and so by getting one of these repricers it'll make your life a lot easier when i got started i used this repricer called reprice it currently i don't really like it it just raced my price to the bottom you have to set your own rules and it's honestly just not great the only thing that i really liked about it was the pricing and because i was cheap that's the main reason why i got it you can see this basic subscription here for up to 500 inventory items is only $10 per month. Up to 2,000 is only $17 per month. And so this is the plan that I kind of stayed with at $17 per month. But I honestly, because of the user interface of Reprice It, wouldn't even recommend that. And I would recommend going over to Be Cool. They're not a sponsor, but I do have an affiliate program with them. And they have a $25 per month plan that has a lot of those features, only up to 1,000 listings, but currently I only have like 400 listings. So you're gonna need a lot of products if you get up to the 1,000. But the one that I have is this $100 per month plan because of their AI repricing. If you really wanna get into the weeds, I have another playlist where I switched from Reprice It over to Be Cool and gave my initial impressions and then did a one month review with some actual profit results to see what the difference was for me. But what I really like about Be Cool is I can select minimum prices for how low I'll go based on a return on investment. So I don't have to set some arbitrary number. I can say, I wanna make a minimum of 30% ROI and it'll just reprice that for me. On top of that, one of the annoying things about repricers is you have to create rules, but they have AI rules that they just created that'll maximize sales, profit, or kind of be in the middle somewhere. So if you want to sell your inventory quickly, you can. If you want to kind of be balanced, you can. Or if you want to wait on your prices and make the most money possible, you can do that as well. But on this $25 and $50 per month plan, you get only zero and 10 of those AI listings. Everything else you have to create your own rules for, which is fine. And I showed you how to do that in the first video in that Be Cool playlist. But at the $100 per month price point, you get up to a thousand AI listings and you get instant repricing. Because with these, you have to wait 15 minutes for any change to take effect. And with these ones, they go instantaneously, which I think is really important because if you're on a really high volume listing and other people have instantaneous repricers, the second that you reprice after 15 minutes, they're gonna reprice right after that. And then you're gonna have to wait another 15 minutes to get the chance at the buy box. Whereas with this, you're constantly repricing and it makes your life a lot easier. This repricer has saved me so much time and made me so much more profit in my business. Because I don't worry about pricing anymore, especially since I set automated rules. Once I create even new listings, it automatically pulls minimum and maximum prices for me and it'll sell out of them. And so maybe once every month, every two months, I'll go in and tweak some of my rules if stuff isn't selling at all. But normally my stuff sells fine and I don't have to worry about it. If you are interested in Be Cool for yourself, if you look in the description below, I actually have an upgraded free trial for you. Normally their free trial is on their $50 per month plan. But since I have a special deal with Be Cool, you can get their $100 per month plan for a 30 day free trial instead of the normal 14 day free trial. That way, even if you just need free repricing for a month, you can just get that and cancel it. But if you do stay on at any of these price points you'll be supporting the channel but free trial is linked below you just have to reach out to support at becool.com letting them know that i sent you and they'll bump up that trial for you there are a couple more honorable mentions that i want to talk about in the managing inventory and buying inventory phases and then we'll get to what i do for accounting very quickly let's take a look at these last two tabs the first one is the amz scout sales estimator if you're looking up anything online to see how often it sells or i guess you can do this in the store you can look up based on the country the category so we can say sports and outdoors we'll just use the same example and then the sales rank which was 440 thousand and see how often something sells there is a problem though because if you notice it says it only sells once per month but when we looked it up on keepa 
it was selling maybe five or ten times every single month and so as you get higher in the ranks this isn't as accurate but if you're staying lower like under a hundred thousand in each category it'll probably be pretty accurate to give you an idea of how much you should buy every single month expecting that you're going to get a share of the buy box because you have that nice repricer now the other software that can help comes in scottify too it's called camel 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 and we kind of touched on it before but i'm just showing you that it does actually have a browser so you can just search products here as well if you're doing stuff online and want to look at the prices but that's not really super necessary if you have the keep a chart or the keep integration in scottify too and so when i eventually do do that i probably won't use camel 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 that much but for now i still use it especially if i look up something and it doesn't have any listings then i can look up the camel 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 price and see how much i can probably get for it but by having the keep a price chart you can probably do the same thing honestly so last let's talk about accounting real quick i haven't made any dedicated videos to accounting yet because i'm not an accountant and it is a little bit crazy of a process and because i don't only do accounting for amazon fba i also have accounting for this business of a youtube channel i call these businesses but it's all under one llc and so that's why i personally use quickbooks i really like it especially because i'm doing cash-based accounting i use the 12 dollars 50 cent per month simple start business plan this is an offer for three months you get a free trial for 30 days uh, and then it's normally like 25 dollars per month but that's enough for me but if you really want to be bare bones and not worry about it if you get inventory lab it also has an accounting portion of it if you go up here to accounting you can go down to other expenses and actually add expenses you can add mileage inside of it as well but i personally prefer quickbooks because as i'm growing my businesses and wanting to work with a cpa they'll probably have QuickBooks integration more than inventory lab integration. And so that's why I personally use QuickBooks. There are definitely better people who've made videos about that before, but I am planning on getting something about how I use QuickBooks up there. I just don't know if I'm the best person to talk about that. So adding up the prices of all these subscriptions, about $22 for buying profitable inventory, just for Keepa is what we're gonna say, because we'll have that instead of Scout IQ, and that's the more expensive one. Shipping to FBA is $49 per month for inventory lab. And we also get Scoutify 2 included in that. Managing inventory, $100 per month for repricer is what I put. You can get the cheaper ones, but I personally like the one that I have. And accounting, 12 50 per month is $183.50 per month. So almost $200, which is a lot of money. But if you don't have any of these before, I guarantee that you'll save $200 per month just in terms of the time that you spend. And it'll help you to make money faster because you'll be making faster and better purchasing decisions. You'll be repricing better so that you can actually make more profit with your inventory. But if you're just a beginner, beginner starting out, please just get started with the Amazon seller app and free trials of all of these. Don't pay for these until you're actually making money on Amazon because you can make money in that first month. The first month, I think I made a profit of like hundreds of dollars. If you want me to do a video looking back on my first month as an Amazon FBA seller and what I sold, like this video and let me know in the comments that you want that. Otherwise, watch yesterday's video for the rules for buying profitable inventory right over here. I'll see you tomorrow. Use my links, please.